Hello friends, welcome to this video where I'm going to share with you how I learned to make better decisions and hopefully some of these tips can be helpful for you. Several years ago, I struggled with my vision, values, and decision making. I quit my creative projects because I never realized how they would contribute to the world. I also never considered the values that make me happy. Because I didn't know my vision and values, this led me to poor decision making such as spending too much time on social media. This resulted in leaving me feeling empty with more regret. First I'll talk about how I established a vision in my life. In my last video I talked about how God gave me a vision to bridge Christianity and science. This helped me realize that the smaller projects that I was working on contributed to the bigger picture. If you're having trouble with a vision in your life, maybe spending some time with your spirituality might help. I'll provide a link to my last video if you're interested in learning more. Next I had to ask myself, what did I want to spend time creating? This led me on a path of establishing my values. My values really reinforce of what makes me happy. It also helps me prioritize my decisions. If I'm confronted with multiple conflicts, then I can prioritize what's more important. Previously, my job was a high priority in life. I've learned that this is not the only value that makes me happy. I've neglected other areas such as spirituality, health, family, and creative activities. I've learned that I need to prioritize other areas such as spending more family time proactively rather than spending that free time with work. By spending it proactively, then I can prevent problems before they arise before it's too late. Now I'd like to share with you my values. They may be different from yours, but hopefully it'll give you some insight so you can relate. My first value is my faith in Christ. Jesus has taught me how to love others and given me wisdom for many problems in life. My second value is health. If I can live a healthy lifestyle by diet, exercise, and proper sleep, this will also support my other values. My third value is family. Giving and receiving for our loved ones is priceless. I wanna make sure I set time for acts of love, quality time, gifts and affirmation. My fourth value is my job. My job provides me with purpose and financial support. If I've done all of these values correctly, then this gives me the freedom in my creative projects. My creativity allows me to express my journeys in my life. Now that I've established my vision and values, this really helps me with my decisions. I like to use the reference important versus urgent. Important decisions are the ones that help us with our long-term goals. I've created daily habits so I can make sure that I reach them. For example, reading the Bible, diet, exercise, family time, and creative work. These decisions are not urgent so they don't have to be done right away, but they are important to make sure that I do them every day. I leave enough time in the day to deal with urgent matters. Urgent matters are situations in my environment that are out of my control. For example, health problems, family assistance, or requests from my manager. If they match my values, then I know I need to deal with them in a timely manner. If they don't, then I know they are neither important or urgent. Creating these good habits have replaced my bad ones, such as spending too much time on social media. I've been using this strategy for a while now, and I've been able to manage my time much more wisely. I don't get distracted and I'm making better progress with my goals. When I'm making more progress, I'm feeling much more fulfilled with less regret. I've been able to spend a few hours a day on my creative projects, such as filmmaking. I've made a lot more videos, and my goal is to make each video better than the last. At the end of each day, I ask how I'm doing, 
A day well spent is a life worth living. I hope you found this video helpful in your decision making. I would love to hear your story, so please comment below. If you'd like to be notified of more videos, please remember to subscribe to the channel. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.